I love what you're wearing. Thank you so much. I love what you're wearing. Does the camera get what you're wearing, Simone? It's not about you. It's about you. Well, just so you know, Simone is wearing this rad, like, what is this? Is this material? It's like patent leather, maybe? Straight up patent leather. But can, enough about me. Can we talk about what you're wearing tonight? Give us a full 360, Jack. Um, this is from my kick-ass designer, Dana Pink. She she gave me this rad suit that's Bowser-inspired. It's got the flames on the on the uh, uh, sleeves and, and she, like flames on my pants. And I also look on the back row. Yes, check this out. That is so dope. Bowser spikes on my back shell. So are you kind of in character as Bowser tonight, or should we watch out for flying Koopa shells and everything? It's a hybrid Jack Black-Bowser combo. We love it. We love it. I mean, it's hard to encapsulate just how iconic this film is, how iconic these characters are. What's your favorite early Mario memory? I mean, I was there at the very beginning of Nintendo, like when they first came out on the scene in the early 80s with uh, Donkey Kong in the arcades before they even had home systems, you know? So I remember in my childhood just going to the corner mark and playing like Donkey Kong for hours, just spending like thousands of quarters on that game and trying to master it. And back then it was just Mario, Donkey Kong, and the princess, the, the holy trinity of Nintendo. And uh, over the decades to see it like expand into this whole universe uh, and then Bowser was born like many years after that and it's been really really amazing to become part of the Nintendo family. What did you do in the booth every day to get into character as Bowser? You know I just tried to go to the dark parts of my soul because Bowser is just evil right? Pure evil right? Yeah maybe one of the most famous uh, video game villains of all times so I just tried to bring the thunder and try to bring the flames and the fire and just be unapologetically bad. <laughs> that must have been so fun to indulge that darker side, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a completely hard left turn here. We are celebrating the 20 year anniversary of School of Rock and your co-star from that film, Mike White, is responsible for one of the greatest shows on television right now, White Lotus. If Jack Black were to enter the White Lotus universe, what character would you wanna play? Literally anything. Mike, if you're watching this, uh, I would love to party in White Lotus. For old time's sake, bro, hook me up apart. You know that season three or whatever, because uh, he's a genius, and I've been blessed to work with him a few times. We did School of Rock together. He wrote that too. You know, he didn't just star in it. Uh, we did Nacho Libre together, and uh, yeah, whenever he he does a new project, I'm always like, dang, he's doing it again. And they're going to Thailand this time, so not a bad spot to work, right? I know. Might have to visit that set. Might have to make a, a un, what do you call that when you crash? Oh, you cra crash a party. <laughs> crash a lotus. Exactly. Mike White, if you're listening, let's make this happen, please. Okay, and then I have just one more thing that I would love to ask you about. So, Bowser, of course, the king of the Koopas. But this cast, I mean, you guys are the king of the memes on the internet. Can I show you what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's see. I mean, look at that right there, top left corner. Let's show everybody at home. Yeah. How would you caption this? Uh, mine looks like, I'm gonna say, lobster face magoo. That's just the first thing that comes to mind. You're saying like all four of these together? I mean, that would be a great caption, but we could just do yours. I yeah, I don't know, I look, I look really distressed. I mean, how amazing is this one? Like, yeah, it's just sharp. so multi-purpose. Yeah. He's smoking. He's got the crazy uh, paranoid uh, map up on the on the wall. Exactly. I don't know what's happening there. Is that from an episode of uh, 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 It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? It must be, right? He's a genius. This cast, I mean, you must have had so much fun like getting together on this press tour because you go, don't get to spend that much time together. It's true, especially during pandemic times. We were all isolation. You know, I never even met the directors in live and in person until today, until this red carpet. We worked all through Zoom, um, but I'm really proud of the movie. It's amazing what you can get done through pandemic times on, a, on an animated feature like this. 